Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Video. As promised, we've got some tips and tricks on the K10. This is part two, so we found a couple of more we wanna share with you. Again, just help you to have a little more fun with your phone and just maximize it, being able to do a lot of other cool stuff you didn't know you could do. So let's jump right in. And I'll preface this again with, if you've had an LG phone before, some of these you may already know about, but you may not know about all of them. So just keep an open mind and you know, you may learn something. All right, here we go. So first little tip is a cool feature you find on a lot of LG phones, which is by swiping down from the top, you have a feature called Capture Plus. And Capture Plus basically allows you to do a couple of things. You can take a quick screenshot of any screen. So let's say you're on Best Buy's website and you're looking for a deal or you see a cool picture or whatever and you wanna save it. Like let's say you find this deal and you're like, hey mom, I gotta get this computer, right? Whatever. Swipe down, tap on Capture Plus, which is right here. It'll automatically take a screenshot of that screen that you're on. And then I can come up here and I can do a couple of cool things. So if I tap on um, this little uh, like upper triangle right here, I can crop the picture down. Maybe you're like, oh, I just want this part. I don't want the whole screen. No problem. Still easy. Just drag these little corners. And now I can say, okay, yeah, these are the two computers I want to get for school. Which one are you going to buy me? Okay. And then come up here, tap the arrow again. And then I can hit the three dots here and I can share it or I can save it. I can also tap the uh, highlighter and you can tap it again to change the color. So have a little fun with it. Oh, thick or thin. How do you change the color? Usually that's how you do it. Maybe they may have changed it. Oh, the pencil maybe. There we go. Pencil, highlighter, let's go yellow. And maybe you can highlight something in here like, hey, look at this. This is an i5 or whatever. Okay. And then upper right corner, share it. Throw it right into an, uh, an email with Gmail or a text message. But either way, it's good to go. And um, these are some advanced features you normally would find on a phone that has a, a stylus pen. So it, it's kind of cool, I think, that you can do it without having an extra little pen. You just go up there, tap the button, it's gonna save whatever screen you're on, and you can make your adjustments, crop it, save it, or send it to someone. So I like that, definitely wanted to share that. That is Capture Plus, and just right up here in the um, um, switches section. Our next uh, tip is going to come in the settings, really simple one, you find this on a lot of LG phones as well, and a swipe down settings, and you're gonna go to home touch buttons, and we can do some customization with these three buttons down here. So go to button combination, and we can basically add a fourth button, and we can also change the order of which buttons are down there. So like for example, I can hold down on Capture Plus, and I can put this down here. Where are we? There we go. I can move Capture Plus, and now I can have four buttons down here. You can change the order as well, and maybe you want your home button to the right, whatever. You can also move this notifications button right here and have uh, up to five buttons at the bottom of your screen. It's up to you, it depends on like how you use your phone. If you're a simple person, you probably don't want to add any more, but if you just get bored and want to change it up, feel free to add some different ones and play around with the order. I always recommend having the home one in the middle because this makes life a little bit easier. When you're done, just go back, and then here you can also change the color of it. So maybe you want it to be black instead of white, no problem. But there it is. So that's our second little tip, just customizing your home buttons. And this down arrow one, all it does is just bring up your notification bar so you don't have to reach so high at the top of the screen. So it sort of helps you with just, you know, um, the issues of having a large screen phone. It's good sometimes when you're watching video and then it sucks when you gotta like navigate the phone. So that helps. 
All right, our next tip slash trick is um, a quick one that just allows you to do some something cool with your home screen, which is change how it transitions between screens. So hold down the screen, and then we're gonna go to home screen settings, and then we wanna go to where it says screen swipe effect. And here we have four options. So like right now it's on breeze. If I go to panorama and I swipe, that's a really boring one, but that's what it is. Hold down again, settings, and let's go to carousel. And now when you swipe, it does a cool little carousel type of effect. So it's up to you again, you know, change it up, do something different, have some fun. Our next uh, tip is gonna be, how do I add more screens to my home screen? Right now we only have two, but if you wanna add another one, just grab an app, put your finger on it. Let me clear the camera, make sure you can see it. So I'm gonna just hold down on this app right here and drag it to the right and it will create a new screen. Now I have three screens, one, two, three, and maybe you want four screens, no problem. Grab another app, drag it all the way over, drag it over again, and now we have four screens. So you just have to drag the app over to create another screen and then you're good to go. Let me see, can you pinch? No, this one doesn't do that. All right, and our final little uh, tip, really important. Um, I think you guys will like this because this was driving me crazy, so I'm glad I found it. Upper right corner, settings, sounds and notifications. Uh, go to the bottom where it says more and go to sound effects. Okay, find where it says touch sound. The touch sound is every time you touch anything on the darn phone, it makes a noise. Example, see that? That sound. If you are tired of that sound, this is how you turn it off. Settings, sound notifications, more, sound effects, and just turn it off. And guess what now? It doesn't make an obnoxious noise every time you use the phone. I don't know. Again, to each their own. Some of you guys probably don't mind, but to others of you, it probably gets a little irritating after a while. So that's how you turn it off. And hope you guys did find this helpful. We're going to look for even more uh, little tips. If we can find more and enough to do another video, we sure will. But uh, until then, hope this was helpful and uh, hope you learned some new stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share. And subscribe to HG Tech videos. All right. Have a good one.